Hey, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful uh, Thanksgiving holiday with your friends and family. Um, this video, the reason why we're here today is super exciting because um, I've just been waiting to do it. And I was excited about going to the event, which is the We Buy Black Expo. And basically, it is a um, expo that has vendors that are um, Black-owned businesses, Black-owned design, um, Black designers and creators um, come out to display their wares and... I was excited about it because you kind of really have to do your research when you're looking to shop black. And I wanted to do this haul because today is Black Friday and I know people are out in the stores. Um, you won't get all your shopping done today or maybe you got a couple of things that weren't exactly what you wanted to get for your friends or family. Like maybe you were looking for something a little bit more special, but you couldn't find it in um, the big box stores. So um, I'm hoping that I can give you guys some options, some things that I bought. I was looking for really specific things. And I would say just about 50 to 60% of what I was looking for, I was able to find at the We Buy Black Expo. I'm sure this expo will be traveling. Um, this was a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday event. It was only $35. Um, it was more than worth it for me because, again, you've got everybody in one space. I am not going to talk about all of the vendors, but I did collect a lot of cards. I'm going to take some photos and put that at the end of this video. <clears throat> So that you guys can see some of the vendors and some of the businesses that were there. Also, check me out on Instagram, which is Miss Honey 8 on Instagram. Um, I'm going to upload quite a bit of this video footage onto Instagram because I want to really shout out these businesses um, and let them know how much I love their products. Um, and what they had to offer for this first expo. Beautiful Soul and I really, really enjoyed ourselves. She talked a little bit about it on her Instagram, but boy, we had a good time. Uh, we, it turns out, shop very well together because <laughs> um, I'm very particular and she's very patient. So it works out great because uh, she can go and shop and I, you know, go and, sh and I talk to people and she goes and shops three booths down while I talk to people. Like it was just, it was such a great day, like such a good fit, our energies that it just made the experience that much more great. So I do want to say that and thank you so much for inviting me, beautiful. So I had a great, great time. And again, look for We Buy Black in your city. Look for the We Buy Black um, Instagram page so you'll know when it's coming to your city. And please um, do yourself a favor, do your family a favor and try to buy black as much as you possibly can. It can only help um, to benefit you from a creative standpoint, from uh, a product standpoint, just getting some really good, um, good for you products out there that's designed for you by people who have the same skin type, hair type, that type of thing. Um, it just levels you up a little bit, you know what I mean? Just to be in touch with that. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the things that I bought. Now, this first item that I bought, I don't think I have a card for it, but um, it is called um, Exotics by Curtis Smith. And this is the Sweet Jamila, which is a Shea Glaze hair and body um, moisturizer. And this is what it looks like. Okay. And... Um, I just want to show you guys the front there. Okay, and let me see if I can find the site where their website is. I am going to 
take the time to go in and type in the website. So don't worry about it. But um, one of the concerns I had, and this is what I loved about the We Buy Black Expo was that everybody knew what they were talking about. Like you could voice your concerns, ask really discerning questions about the products that they were selling and people were ready. Like they, like I, it's, it truly is geared towards our people. So some of the concerns that we have are easily answered. And when you know your business, you love your business and you love your product, you believe in the product you sell, you have no problem explaining and standing by it. And I found that every booth I went to, every booth, whether I bought some or not, people were very, very informative about their products. So one of the questions that I asked the gentleman that was selling the exotics by um, Curtis Smith is I wanted to know, um, looking at it, you know, it's, it's a thick consistency, but how does it go on? Because sometimes when you get those shea, um, just regular shea butter, um, it's so thick and viscous that you can't get it to spread on your body. And when you leaving for work in the morning, what you want is you want something to that breaks down easy. And you can see, I just went in and scooped a little bit out. I don't know if you can see that where I went in and just scooped a little bit out there on my finger. Um, and so my concern was that how long does it take to break down Okay, that's it. To break down and spread easily over your body. Does it take a lot of friction to get it to move around your body? As soon as you warm this up in your hands a bit, it spreads over your body nice and easy. This is not a super hard formula. It isn't. It isn't um, like a lotion, like you could squeeze it out. But again, this is for your hair as well as your body. And you can hear already, it has broken down. And it I'm here to tell you, it slides on beautifully. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is what I wanted. I wanted to have all the benefits of um, pure shea butter but it not be hard to spread. And it says, um, rub a pea-sized amount in the palm of your hand and apply accordingly. And this is for your hair as well as your body. I bought it for the body. It's a really passive smell. It is a, a simple smell. It's a smell that you can build upon, meaning you could put a, a body oil over this or a body spray, I should say, over this. Um, and it wouldn't interfere. So what I am going to look at today is how long it lasts. Now you do, of course, have a shortened amount of time on your hands because you, if you wash your hands a lot, and hopefully you do, especially during cold and flu season. But <clears throat> we're going to see. Um, I've coated my legs already, so I wanted to um, see how long it lasts absorb absorbency rate okay so we'll see okay so the next thing i got super super excited about was this product okay and this product is called um the original cough honey knock it out the natural way it's a natural immune booster and the young lady explained it to me this is called grandma's honey stuff and it helps alleviate cough, congestion, and cold symptoms. It boosts the immune system. There's no artificial colors, no additives made with whole foods, safe for children, um, safe for all ages over one years old. It's a local, local Georgia number, but she had a beautiful poster there, a picture of her grandma. She looked just like her grandma. But this is a homemade product. Um, so all of the ingredients are true to form. Let me tell you something. The first thing that, um, 
beautiful soul said when she tried it was that she can taste every single solitary ingredient that is in it. Helps relieve cough, cold, congestion, and other symptoms. It's raw honey, lemon, garlic, ginger, capsaicin, and spices. It's so good, you guys. It's delicious. You're just supposed to take like a teaspoon a day. It's locally grown honey. And the benefit of locally grown honey is that um, all of the pollen from our local flowers are in there. And so your body builds up an immunity to um, pollen and those types of things that give you give you sinus trouble when the spring comes. So this has been no done for a while. It's been known and it's something that I do. I don't have sinus issues, although lately I've had some issues. I don't have allergies is what I should say. Um, because I always take a teaspoon of locally grown honey and I only use real honey. You cannot get that honey from the grocery store and just assume that it's real honey, you guys. But I'm not gonna get on that soapbox. But again, um, this is the product. Okay, that's not helpful. <laughs> this is the product, and um, her website is www.grandmas, G R A N D M A S, honeystuff.com. Again, I'm gonna put it down below her information. You guys, this stuff is so good, it's um, factory sealed, so it's sealed real tight. Um, just a really, really great product. We tried it there. I, I bought two bottles. One I've already started using and I love it. I just absolutely love it. I bought two bottles cause I knew that, um, my mom was going to want it too. Um, it says grandma's honey stuff aged to perfection, filled with love and blessings from grandma's heart to your health. Isn't that sweet? That's super nice. It's just a thoughtful packaging. I saw a lot of that a lot of that um the weekend that we did by black <clears throat> um so the next thing that i got and you can kind of see it a little bit is um turns out this young lady um is a friend of beautiful soul because beautiful soul has a natural hair channel and so she's familiar with this young lady through that process and they follow each other on Instagram and that type of thing. So, um, I got coils by nature. And again, I asked a lot of questions according to what I have going on. Um, and they were so informative. I got the, the Shalo, which is, um, shea butter and aloe leave-in conditioner with argan oil and uh this was one of beautiful soul's favorite items um that she swore by so i said let me try it and it is the i just want to make sure you guys can see it's focusing it is the marvelous mango there was two flavors i got mango um body butter and nourishing hair and there's that. Can you guys see it? Okay. So, um, Coils by Nature, um, they're on Instagram. Follow follow her on Instagram. First of all, she's absolutely positively beautiful, statuesque young lady. Um, and her products are sold in Target as well. Um, but listen, I talked to the guy about some of my concerns, which was, my hair gets dry really, really quick. I can put as much stuff as I want into it. Boom, like that. It's dry. And so before I left to take the journey down to Florida, I washed my hair. And I um, put shampooed my hair. And I put the leave-in conditioner in. And um, first of all, it's a great, great texture. If you guys can see that texture there, super, super smooth. I mean, it has a very dull fragrance. Like, you know that there is product in there, 
there's healthy stuff in there, but it's not highly perfumed. It's a very muted smell. Meaning it just goes away. It doesn't overpower. You're not smelling it all day. But when I tell y'all this left my hair so manageable, able to comb right through. I mean, I was able to do wash my hair and um, condition and section, moisturize. At first I put in my leave-in conditioner and then I followed it up with the um, Nourishing Hair and Body Butter. Each section pulled it through and then t did a single twist, combed through and did, you know, two strand twists. And you guys, it was amazing. I mean, you can see, I did this Wednesday. I just took the twist out, but I just want you to see just how shiny and beautiful my hair is. It's so soft and moisturized. Um, there's not a lot of defined curls, but that's just the kind of hair that I have. I have 4C hair. <clears throat> and so the more you separate these curls, the smaller the ringlets are going to get. But I'm so happy with just how shiny and beautiful and manageable my hair is. The... Um, Marvelous Mango Nourishing Hair and Body Butter. Again, it's just a really muted smell. Like, it's not going to be something that overpowers your, your, um, your, your, you know, your palate or your, uh, senses. It's just not. Um, and I will just show you quickly how quickly your hair absorbs. It doesn't sit on top of the hair. It goes in, it does what it's supposed to do, which is moisturize and soften. And it just does a beautiful job. These products I'm officially sold on. And so I probably will get these offline. I don't know. I just something about things that are sold commercially that I start to look at them sideways. So we're going to see. Anyway. The other thing that I got that I'm super, super excited about is Black Girl Sunscreen. Um, it is 30 SPF, ultra, ultra sheer, fragrance-free, moisturizing sunscreen lotion. This sunscreen lotion was designed for black people. All right. One of the reasons why I only bought one bottle, but I knew I was coming here to Florida. I know my sister loves sunscreen. I know because she's fairer in skin than I am much, much fairer. Like she, she's this side of my face and not this side of my face. Like my sister is super, super light. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know, um, but I had a lot of questions for the young lady. I wanted to know. I was like, SPF 30. Oh, no. Nobody going to be walking around with that cakey white stuff on their face. No. I will wear long sleeves and a big flouncy hat before I will put on all of that white cakey. <clears throat> First of all, the girl was beautiful. Check them out on their um, Instagram page. It's uh, Black Girl Sunscreen. You can see it there. That's Instagram and Twitter. Check them out. You'll see she's a beautiful, beautiful young lady. And maybe if you can get this, this $22 off, I don't know. Check it out. She had a beautiful spirit, but outside of that, the girl knew what she was talking about. Like she knew what she was talking about because I wanted to know, um, is it, is it cakey? Like, is it that thick white? Y'all see, see, uh, lifeguards back in the day in the movies, they would have this white stuff on their nose, but that was sunscreen. The higher the sunscreen, the thicker and pastier it is, right? So, boy, I tell you what, baby, baby, oh no, it's sealed, okay? Very professional, very professionally done, but let me open a little bit, and when Sissy gets in for work today, I'm gonna, of course, I use everything, even the little stuff on it, <laughs> Okay, um, but here you'll see it's a it's a very 
light. There's no smell. There's a smell, but it's not a smell. Do you know what I mean? Like, nothing smells like nothing, including vodka. People say vodka is colorless and odorless. It's not really odorless. <laughs> But it's again, it's a muted smell. It's not offensive. It's not perfumed. It's not gross. It's just, it's just a muted smell. Like it just goes away. It becomes beige. It becomes white on the wall. Like it's not anything that would be offensive to you at all that you would be able to smell. You just can't. It, it's like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys just the consistency of it, and I wanted to show you guys, um, it goes on, I put like way too much on, you need just a little bit, I'm getting ready to go outside anyway, um, I wanted to just cover my hands with it for sure though, but um, as you can see, it just disappears, it just disappears, this is a ultra sheer formula and you can see it just goes away it doesn't smell like anything like I have a sensitive nose and if anything it smells like comfort it's not sticky it's not tacky so I ask her I says where would this fall in my beauty regimen because I have very very dry skin so I do a heavy moisturization um, and then I do primer and, you know, then I put my foundation on where would this fall? She said, do it after your primer, after your primer. Like you could tell she knew exactly where I was going with this. How can I incorporate this into my beauty regimen? You put it in after your primer. Okay. Your primer absorbs into your skin and so will this. It's a very sheer formula. You guys, it is not sticky. It is not tacky. We have to protect our skin too. But it takes a specific type of sunscreen in order to do that. This bottle, I think I paid $15 for. Again, they have the coupons. Check them out on IG and get you a small bottle. I put way too much on my hand. I didn't need as much as I did for such a small amount of space. But again, it disappeared. It's gone. It's just... It's just, it's a just a super, super, super easy, pleasant product. Um, and it makes all the difference in having skin that looks healthy, that looks moisturized, that's not cracked. I am going to, um, for the remainder of my time here, which is I'll be back home Monday, but I'm going to get my sister to use it and just see how she feels about it. Um, the back says, bye, bye, umbrella. Okay, this product has been very thoughtfully made. It says, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Uh, reapply after 80 minutes of swimming and or sweating. And that is pretty typical of, of a sunscreen. If you are sweating profusely, if you are swimming, you have to know that reapplication may be necessary. Why? Because you're wiping your face. You're not only swimming with it on, but you're constantly drying off and wiping it off. So that's pretty much understood. And we do need to get in the regimen of it as a people. It says, um, it says at least every two hours you have to reapply it, especially if you're swimming. And things like that. Now, if you're it's just sitting on your skin, me, I'm walking back and forth to the office. You know, it's that's not necessary. And um, yeah, it's a, just a a really great product. Again, check them out on on IG Black Girl Sunscreen, um, paraben free, very thoughtfully made. You guys are gonna love this. I'm telling you, you're going to love this. Absolutely. And I'm going to come back in with an update. I, I really like this product because uh, my family spends a lot of time in the sun, in the yard. You guys follow me on IG. You know that I, it, I'm in my dad's orchard, at um, in the vineyard at in, in the fall. I'm outside. I'm walking the dog. 
I'm at festivals in the summer. I need an SPF, but I need an SPF that is designed for me and my skin tone. All right, so I'll let you guys know. I'll come back and do an update, let you guys know how my sister likes it because that's one of the things she's going to get for Christmas if she, if she absolutely loves it. Okay, so it's called the Big Necklace. Um, here is her card. Rhiannon, I think it's Hanat. Look at this packaging, you guys. Look at this packaging. How beautiful is that? How thoughtful is that? How smart is that? Okay. It's everything. Like, seriously, it is everything. And I got these like two weeks ago. So I want you guys to know I held on to all of my things without opening them until I could do this haul for you guys. Um, but here we have both pieces are thoughtfully wrapped. Here is uh, the first necklace that I got. It goes around like that. Super, super, super cute. Just look at that. And this is like a burgundy or blood red necklace set. Really, really pretty. And I also got like one of my number one pieces that I love is this necklace. How gorgeous. Dude, it's humongous. Like it is so perfect. Um, I got a little bag with um, extension pieces or replacement pieces if I needed that. And uh, of course she put a couple of more cards in there for me to share. And listen, she had such a beautiful spirit. She just was giving me so much information about, you know, I'm interested in starting my own business, but not like that. It's just, I got things that I like. Like I said, I'm a very particular individual. So I got things that I like, things that I just, I want things that make me happy and she kind of could see that it may be something that could be lucrative for me and so she just shared a lot of information about how she got started just not even a little bit remotely afraid to share and to be open about how she started her business her life how she got going and how blessed she's been um and that was huge for me because we're both you know african-american women and just to support and lift each other up like it was a great experience and the the price points are very reasonable we each necklace is either 15 to 25 dollars there might be some higher price points there but i do remember that each one of these necklaces uh because of the expo she was doing a two for 30 so really really great purchases this next thing is um, when we first got there, um, there was a young lady that came by with two signature fragrances that she had sprayed on a card. She gave me one fragrance. She gave Beautiful Soul one fragrance. Beautiful Soul fell in love with her fragrance. And as we worked our way through, she never forgot that she wanted to go buy preeminence custom fragrances. And I like both of the fragrances that they sprayed on the card. I thought that they were pretty, but when I saw him hand mixing them, I was like, oh no, no, no. I wanted him to custom make me an oil. I love oils uh, more so than I do perfume. Perfume um, tends to have a little bit of alcohol in it. I don't know if his fragrances did, but this is just my overall thought about perfumes. Um, so I like oils, they're more concentrated and um, they last longer. And as your body warms up, the fragrance comes and goes and ebbs and flows and it's just a nicer all day wear to me. Um, but what I love is that he knew his business. Like a lot of these individuals at the We Buy Black Expo, they know their business. 
Um, I gave him the fragrances that I like. I'm very in touch. You guys who follow me know that I have a crazy nose <laughs> and a crazy palette, right? Like, it's weird. But as I'm just telling him some of the notes that I really, really love, he's just pulling bottles down like an alchemist. I was getting so excited. Um, after he mixed everything, he wrote down my um, custom fragrance, my customer ID, and um, the notes that I loved. And I just go online and I click my scent and um, I can reorder this scent when it goes out. Like, come on, super, super professional, right? Like. It was crazy and then here is his card and you may see a video out there of me because I did like a little video testimonial before I left um, that may be on Instagram so if you see it out there tag me let me know um, but here is his card um, the fragrances that that he was doing two signature fragrances for the whole show were really really beautiful and they were selling like that people were really enjoying it I want to get close so you guys can see the telephone number the website is Etsy Amazon we buy black of course um, and again the name of the company and um, the fragrance so here is my um, oil it was very reasonably priced um i don't know if they had uh specials um but the fragrances i don't know how much the perfumes are but this oil was 15 dollars. i think it could have been a little bit less than that um but just an absolute beautiful job he mixed this right in front of me this is um, the the dispenser. Oh, you guys! This oh man, this fragrance is <laughs> so gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Like, mm, I love it. We are some amazing, talented people, and this is all beautiful. So I kept saying. Like every place we went, the, the creativity, the professionalism, she just kept saying over and over again, our people are so creative. Our people are so creative. You guys check them out. Let me know what you think. Do you guys, have you heard of these products? Have you tried these products? Let me know. Put it down below. And until next time, honeybees. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll holla.